Hello, my name is Hanna Bodov. Today is March 5th, 2020. Uh, I would like to testify for uh, Nazira Muhammad Sali and her family members. So, Nazira Muhammad Sali um, is the daughter of um, Muhammad Sali, a religious scholar. She as well did studies in uh, literature and uh, also studied about Islam and was apparently very um, important and well-known figures, especially among women in Rumchi. So Nezira disappeared um, as other of her family members as well as her father in late December 2017 and had not been heard of since. Um, in the end of January 2020, I heard of some of her friends and people who knew her who um, told me that apparently she is working now in a factory in Urumqi. It is not clear since when she has been working there or in what kind of factory she has been working or what they are producing. Um, as far as her friends know, uh, she is able to go home uh, once per week. Um, but the rest of the time she has to spend um, in the factory. Um, the same goes for her son. So here is a photo. Her son um, Imran Adil. Um, who is around 20 years old now, who was also arrested uh, together with Nariza and other family members um, and who had been missing since then. He is also said to be working in a factory. Um, I don't know if he's allowed to go home or not. I don't know in what kind of factory he's working, but according to what I was told is that he is working in Rumchi and he's working in a different factory from his mother Nazire. Um, there is still no information about Nazire's husband um, Adil Tunyaz, who is um, a poet and writer. Um, he who has also disappeared on the, in December 2017. So um, there is no news about him or any other family members, including the three underage sons of Nerize and Adil. Um, I demand the Chinese government to release information about the whereabouts of Nerize's family members, um, to explain to us why she is working in a factory um, since she apparently was running her own publishing house, was publishing books, doing research and publications with the um, um, approval of the Chinese government. So I don't see a reason that she um, or her son, who used to study in Beijing before, are working in a factory. It would be very interesting um, and informative to get um, more information for um, about Nerisa and her relatives and for the reason of why um, some of them are not heard about and why Nerisa and her son are working in a factory.